I'm going to start off by saying that uh, I believe, Chair and CEO, that you and your team are going to, uh, I believe you're going to do a very, very good job in helping and doing a great favour for soccer in Ireland. Uh, I just want to say that. Um, and I think everybody here are, are confident in that, quite frankly. Um, I would ask you, actually, just back to follow on from uh, Deputy Coppinger's point there, I look at the statement from the 10th of April from the, Mr. Delaney. Uh, he said, choose that 25th of April 2017 internal finance meeting, uh, which the Deputy referred to, saying that they were strapped for cash, didn't have enough money. I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. Uh, following day, he was in Geneva, received a call, we need 100 grand from you to keep going. This is an organisation with 50 million turnover uh, in, in the accounts 2017. We don't have 2018 yet. So he wrote a cheque for 100 grand. The board weren't informed until after Mr. Tai and fair play to him contacting uh, uh, the FAI in relation to the matter. Then the board were informed about it. And actually, that's what they mentioned the last day. I have the question what happened if Mr. Delaney didn't have the money? Didn't have 100 grand to write a cheque? The FAI are insolvent. Insolvent. Yeah. Absolutely insolvent. That's yeah. the FAI gone. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. And quite frankly, ye have not been told or informed as per the agreement in relation to what the situation is. Yeah. You're there with your hands tied behind your back. It's an incredible situation. 50 million, give us 100 grand there, aren't you? No bother. And uh, it's going to keep you going. They're insolvent. Mm. Uh, there's no need to go into the company law issues in relation to that, but we know they're quite, quite substantial. And also, I know, and you made the point very clearly last, the week four last, you're not a regulator. But in relation to that, and I don't think, in my view, I don't think you should be a regulator. It's not your role. And also, uh, UEFA and FIFA, I think, will have a huge issue uh, with that because they yeah. regulate soccer worldwide. Yeah. And that could be a serious conflict. So you've got you have a narrow enough remit within which you can operate. But I believe you can, and I believe the commitment is there actually to go and make it happen. I go back to. To, I think it's really important to reflect on what have we, what have you learned from this? What did you do right? What could you have done better? And I'm saying this in total positiveness to mm. say, okay, because there's the past, we cannot dwell on the past, we learn from the past. And then we say, we're in the present, we have to create the future. And I'm really concerned about the vacuum. And I would suggest, Chair, if, if it's okay, that uh, we invite Mr. Tracy and Mr. Mulvey back again in a couple of months' time to say, this is what happened since, and this is what we're doing in relation to filling the vacuum and helping uh, soccer in Ireland to be world class again. Yeah. And that's all I have to say. Uh, Dr. O'Keefe. And then I will finish. I'll just say.